Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. In today's video, we'll see how to install NG Rock on a Kali Linux machine. Now, NG Rock allows us to expose our server that's um, hosted locally onto the internet. So, if you have like a development uh, server, or if you have a web server, you can expose it using NG Rock without needing a public IP address or a domain a domain name. So the, the web server will appear as being hosted uh, on a subdomain of ngrock.com. Now the first thing to do is we we'll need to download ngrock. So just go open your browser and search for ngrock download. Then go to the page that takes you to ngrock.com. Now you'll need to sign in before you can actually download the file. And also you'll need um, some authentication code that will allow you to authenticate and enable your ng rock before you can run it now if, if it's your first time obviously you have to sign up and then provide um, uh, you'll need to provide your email and then this has to be a valid email because you need to verify the information with the ng rock site now, I already have a, an account, so this is what you'll get once you get into your account. On this, um, in your account, on your left, you'll see instructions on how to set up, and also you'll get the option to download uh, NG Rock. Just click on the download for Linux. I already downloaded it. Now, another thing you'll get is you'll get your token here. So the token is needed, like I said, for you to verify and uh, enable your NG Rock. Now, once you've uh, downloaded the NG, NG Rock file, we'll need to unzip it. So I'll open a terminal and go to the downloads folder. Downloads. List the files. So I already downloaded this before. I also had downloaded this one, but I got an error when I tried to use this one. So that's something to watch out for when you try to run it and you get an, uh, a format error. You might want to make sure you, you have the right version. So once you get this uh, downloaded, you need to untie or unzip it. The command will be uh, sudo. Uh, XV and then the file name right here. So you can just copy selection and then come here and uh, paste selection of clipboard. Once you uh, have this command, if you press enter, you'll end up with this file right here. So I'm not going to enter the command. The next thing you'll need to do is you need to authenticate your your client with the ng rock now this is where you need the token if you go back to the site and you click on this you'll get your token right here just copy the token and then go back to the terminal and in the terminal there is a command will run in order to authenticate uh, the token. So the command is going to be dot for slash ng rock alt token. Then here you'll need to paste the token that you'll have copied from the ng rock website. So once you paste that token, just press enter. So I'll go back to the site. Here you see you have the option to copy. You copy this. Then in your terminal, you paste selection and press enter. Now we'll create a tunnel to the Apache web server and the command is going to be ngrock HTTP 
and port is 80, that's where the server is listening on. Once that command is run, you get a link. Now this is the forwarding link that you can use from anywhere on the internet to access your web server. So you can copy link address. And now I'm gonna try and open a browser from a different computer. And I'll paste that link. So, so I'm gonna copy this link, copy link. I'm gonna open a browser from a different computer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste that link. Press enter. I'm gonna say visit site. And I'm getting an error here. The connection was refused, even though we successfully tunnel to the ng rock agent. So this is normally because the 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 actual server is not running. What we'll need to do is we have to check the status of this uh, server. I'm gonna split this. I'll, do, I'll do sudo service patch to status. Put in a password, and it's not running. It's uh, inactive right now. So we need to start the services. So we'll do sudo service patch it to start. Now we'll check the status again. Now it's active and running. We'll go to the browser again. And now we're able to access the website. So this is what I have on my welcome page on my Apache web server. That's how you download, install, and then enable your ng-rock on a Kali Linux machine. Uh, one thing I wanted to note was if you download the file and then when you try to run the ng-rock alt, alt token and you get an error that says X format error, that means that you might be having your wrong file and you might need to make sure you have the correct file. So, if we go to downloads, like I said, there's uh, different files, different kind of files you might get from that site. Just make sure you have the correct one. So for instance, this one doesn't work and this one works. That's it for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.